So somebody said, hey, take apart the handy eater. So I, I'm thinking that's a pretty good idea. So I will. So whoever said that to me, thanks. Let's see what's inside this. And let's see if it looks safe to us. We can examine it together. This is the handy heater. I seen on TV. I'm preparing for surgery. I think I got everything. Shadow, I want you to make a jingle for taking apart the handy heater. Okay, thanks. We have screws back here. I'm gonna be gentle. I don't want to scratch us in case. Now, yeah, let's just say I don't want to scratch it. Let's go in for a tighter shot of the receptacle. So I've got two wires that I can pull off the circuit board and release this. So I'm going to mark one of them. Yay, I got the little spade connectors apart. Jeez, those were a pain. They had to pay somebody to put those stupid things on. At least they were secure. Hey Shadow, did you get that song title yet? Did you get the song title yet? Ooh, I gotta charge my battery. So this is the spinny plug. You press this down and then you can turn it 180. Okay. And the switch. So yeah, it looks like um, just wires. This is a molded case, see? So what's turning here are the wires. So there's no moving desk, you know, metal desk or anything like that. So, so what they're figuring on is probably this isn't gonna have too many cycles on it, you know, really. How many cycles are you gonna have on this? Two, three, four? Unless you're just a maniac and you take it with you everywhere. But yeah, I like I prefer this design. I was thinking, you know, perhaps a slip ring or something like that, but no, it's just molded. The wires are molded right in. And I don't know if you can see it when you get a flashlight. So they have a wire containment system there with that uh, right here, the plastic. There's nothing wrong with that. That's acceptable. And it's also a fan shroud. Let me get a drink of beer. We'll come back and look at the rest. I brought the handy heater to the other room because there's better light in here and I'm using my other camera. Hopefully you can see some of these parts. But inside here is surprisingly simple and efficient. A little control panel with tactile switches on the front here and a small LCD screen and it has a little controller here on the on this chip right there and it has a ribbon cable that comes to this board here and this has all the power like the relay on it to control the actual power for the fan and the heating elements and this is a ceramic heater and the actual technology used is called PTC it stands for positive thermo coefficient and it's a self-regulating system so as this coil heats up for the ceramic heater it it uh, the hotter it gets the more holdback it has and it actually will shut itself down when it gets so hot depending on what temperature they've made it to break at so really you don't need any more 
temperature regulation on board it takes care of itself they just set it to high with full power going through there and whatever the coil was designed at maybe 200 to 30 something like that Fahrenheit it cuts itself off so very simple nice looking fan on there the fan plugs into the board the two heating elements plug in down here there's two of them on each side one on each side and then there's also this small wire here that comes up here and that's just an LED for a small light that glows down in the bottom of this when it's on so you can tell it's on if you look inside here you can see like a honeycomb shape and that's the actual aluminum fins but inside there's also two strips they look white and they come down like this hopefully you can see them a little bit but that's the ceramic that's surrounding the aluminum fins so really 30 bucks for a nice little package like this I think that's more than fair really all the engineering that went into this so I don't see a problem with this at all especially with the ceramic uh, PTC element in there there's one safety breaker that's up here on the top hopefully you can see that down in there and if it gets too hot it breaks the connection here and won't allow the power to flow through and you'll have to wait for it to cool down before it snaps back it's just a, a simple snap switch that's resettable self resettable I should say that's it for the handy heater so the fan blows air through the shroud and directs it out the front through the ceramic and the aluminum as far as regulation you've got uh, just power that goes constantly to the coils and it shuts itself off it's got a little timer and stuff like that in here but pretty simple the wires are coated that come down here to the actual element with uh, that heat resistant stuff on them so that's it I'll snap it back together well I snapped it all back together with a little handy heater and it's just buzzing along just keeping us warm I thought it interesting when I was doing a little bit of research about the ceramic material that was used in this heater they also used the same makeup in rear window auto de-icers so if you have a car that you press a button and it melts glass <laughs> melts ice off your back glass that's basically the same material that's used and it's just glued on your window in small strips so I found that interesting I hope you found it interesting cracking this open let me know if you want to see more of them I like showing them it's fun to do and leave us one of these a thumbs up down below if you like this video and I'll make more and leave a comment let us know how we're doing as far as if we're doing okay job on videos we'll see you on the next one bye for now Thank you.